Hello, hello. Let me check in with the first five chapters of The Man from Glen G Gary, a 1901 novel by Ralph Cotton, uh, Charles, Reverend Charles William Gordon, um, the actual man. Um, and it is a kind of an autobiographical work, um, sort of set in the 18, 1800s of, um, like he was born in 1860. So that kind of, that kind of area. Um, and actually, um, Ralph, Ranulf, Ralph, Ranulf McDonald, uh, Ronald, Ronald McDonald is, uh, 17 as we actually start. So he's actually not that, uh, he's actually kind of a very young, young man, I guess, um, where we come upon, uh, this, this group of, uh, Irish, um, loggers and, uh, a, um, a French Canadian guy, um, who blocked up blocked up a um blocked up uh the river with all their their logs and uh the the mcdonald's come down uh, a fiery clan um with um kind of with 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 uh they get and end up they get end up getting into a fight um black murray mcdonald uh being the father of ronald mcdonald or uh, and, um, they get in a fight and the French Canadian, evil French Canadian, uh, sucker, you know, you know, kind of they corner him in, in a, in a bar and with superior numbers, Ronald makes a run for it, brings back his uncle and the man and his uncle is a serious ass kicker. Uh, they kick the ass of thing. He's going to break the back of the French Canadian for beating his brother nearly to death would have probably beaten him to death but you know kind of is is stayed by the kind of the thought of you know vengeance is mine saith the lord and indeed also um the brother black you know black Murf murphy mcdonald whatever the hell is doe mcdonald they've got a, a couple of different names says no i want vengeance don't kill him because i want to kill him and uh, Ronald also wants to kill him, and uh, you know he doesn't. He does. He, do, he doesn't kill him. Um, he gets pulled home in a sled by Ronald. Ronald, uh, who then get goes to get the very kind of really good, good, good um, Reverend uh, the minister's wife, Mrs. Mrs. Murphy Murray, who um, comes and has to kind of talk to uh, the uh, aunt of Ronald, um, you know, about how we need to change the sheets. It's like, oh no, you don't need to change the sheets. I, I changed them last year sometime. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. We need to change the seats and she's terrible at making food. The, the, the stuff she makes, just like, it's kind of slimy and ooky. It's like she makes some actual decent stuff, kind of gets them back. They pray together. This is definitely muscular Christianity. A lot of Christ, going to be a lot of Christianity in here. Uh, and you know, he's like, no, I want to, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. And, uh, oh, um, and Ronald, as she easy fetched, um, the minister's wife, um, and they're, they're chased by wolves. So we have some more excitement that way. And Ronald kind of hold drops back and kind of messes with them. And indeed one of the, the she, the lead she wolf jumps to get him. And he gets his foot out and kicks her and kicks him, kicks her in the, in the, in the, under the jaw uh, and falls back and underneath the feet of the thing with a whimper, uh, at which point Miss, Miss, Mrs. Murray shows up with, uh, the, the hound, um, um, Doe, McDonald Doe's, um, hound. McDonald Doe is also the name of Black Murphy, Black Murray. McDonald, I they have multiple names here. Um, there's a thing of like, you know, she's learned how to pray in Gaelic, or some do not pray but recite, read a little bit in Gaelic, the Gaelic Bible. And it's like, but he's okay with the English, and it does turn out that Ronald's mother died in childbirth, uh, giving birth to a uh, uh, a baby girl also d who also was stillborn. So we've got all that. That's, that's the first bit. Um, very passionate, very earnest, very sincere, 
I would say. Uh, we do get brief mentions of like, oh, yeah, this was a native reserve at one point. It's like that's just sort of something that gets pushed onto the side. There's a, set, a real good sense of, you know, the trees crowd everything are, are kind of a, menace, a menacing thing um, to, to these people. It's like it's not a like, oh, it's beautiful nature. It's like, no, it's threatening, could kill you nature kind of thing. So um, there's that. Uh, oh, the dog is Shades of Dam Busters. If you know what the name of the dog was in Dam Busters, th there's uh, another dog that gets called off. Luckily, I think it only gets mentioned once. Hopefully, it will not be as central of a figure as the dog in Dam Busters was, which it was a black dog. Let's leave it at that and think about what kind of name you might give a black dog. Yeah, so there's that too. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, definitely... Um, you know, good good fight scenes, uh, good action scene with the wolf. Um, definitely earnest um, kind of rel religiosity, um, you know, which isn't a bad thing. It's it's like it's not cynical, definitely, which is like, you know, it's a positive thing. I'm, I'm not a Christian person, so, you know, it's going to have limited effects on me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess we will go from there. All right, more videos later.